Hey everyone, Wandabot here, and welcome to War for the Overworld. This is, uh, it's a, it's like Dungeons 2, except for, I don't know, maybe better? I have no idea. Uh, this time around, I might or might not have a narrator yelling at me. I probably will. We'll see. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to make mention that this is the Patreon, uh, Patreon chosen game of the month for September. I know I'm a little late. This is the first weekend I've actually had free since August. So, I guess I'm just going to pump out a bunch of War for the Overworld videos. Uh, cause, you know what? Looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm gonna have, uh, fun with it. So, the other thing to mention is, this is also being recorded during the, uh, Patreon private stream, which is, like, every Sunday afternoon. So, I know, I know plugging makes me feel a little bit dirty, but at the same time, kinda, <laughs> kinda have to if I wanna get that thing going. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys wanna vote on the game or watch it live, then, uh, you know, head on over to patreon.com slash wanderbot and, uh, check the page out. It's, uh, $1 to vote and $5 to watch, which seems kind of weird and backwards, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, uh, let's, let's start and let's just start the campaign. Okay, so War for the Overworld, uh, what? Do I just, do I just... I've been looking for someone to spearhead my campaign, but before we get stuck in... Let's refresh that old mind of yours. Well, I dig the narrator already. He's not yelling so much. Now go! Welcome back, Underlord. I must say, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. The transference may have left you feeling a bit foggy in the head. Focus now. I'll try to ease you back into it. Fortunately, this does seem to get easier each time. This is your home realm, the source of your power, and the anchor that binds you to reality. Many years ago, it was destroyed, and you were cast out into formless nothing. Fortunately, you've returned from your exile, to once again challenge those who would stand between us and the mortal realm of Kairos. Your resurrection heralds the next phase of our assault upon its wretched empire, now led by the newly crowned Emperor Lucius. But he is least and final of our worries. It's his general and the protection of their goddess, Kira, that will truly test our mettle. Ready yourself, Underlord. Let's begin our war for the Overworld. So it's a little bit more serious version of Dungeon Suit. Seriously, the, the parallels are not to be denied. Now, I believe, and don't fully quote what the... Don't fully quote me on this one, but I believe... The voice actor for the narrator, or I guess the narrator, not... It's not really a voice actor if there's no actual character, but the, the narrator himself is actually the original voice actor, narrator, from the Dungeon Keeper games. I could be wrong on that one, but I don't think I am. I, I think I heard that little factoid that they specifically went out of their way to make sure they had him. Which is a really nice, uh, really nice detail. Welcome back, Underlord. It's been a long time since you were banished to the ether. You've returned as a husk of your former self. But I've taught far denser underlords than you. Let's start with the basics. This is your dungeon core. The tether that allows you to manifest your malignant will. If destroyed, your consciousness will once again be scattered to the void. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. They have many jobs, but their main focus is in carving out the halls of your dungeon. Put them to work by clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles to tag them for excavation. Your workers will now rush forth to dig out and claim the tagged area. Once they have laid down the stones, marking the ground as your own, you will be able to build rooms upon the finished tiles. While your luckies get to work, 
Look to the east of your dungeon core. This is a gateway, one of the many portals that you'll use to attract minions to your dungeon. Order your workers to dig a path to it now. All right, seems pretty basic. Performance is pretty good. Originally, when this game came out on early access on Steam, it had pretty poor performance and was, uh, uh, there were definitely concerns about, you know, where the game was going from there, because this is kind of, I think it's kind of an unknown team that's working on this one, not entirely sure, but, uh, it looks like they fixed a lot of their problems. There's a little bit of jank here and there, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, claimed gateways. How do I claim a gateway? Now that you have a gateway, minions can enter into your service. But first, you'll need to build the rooms necessary to entice them in. Start by building a barracks. This room would allow your minions to hone their combat skills without the risk of permanent death or disfigurement. Select it and build it by clicking and dragging your hand across the claimed tiles. Most rooms must be built at least three by three in order to function properly. Though the lair and vault are effective at any size. So three by three. A Makes sense. Has entered your dungeon. A gnarling has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the barracks, these green-skinned scrappers aren't quite right in the head. And they'll happily hack at your foes until someone is dead. Outside of combat, gnarlings will train themselves within your barracks. You can pick them up with a click if you find them slouching off, then deposit them anywhere within your dungeon with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon them. Now that you have some minions, you will need to cater for their basic needs. First, build a lair so the pitiful little meat sacks can get some rest. Whoa. This is cool. I like this. So work, interact with props. Oh, they gain experience too. I like that. Okay, how do I end... How do I end possession? Okay, escape ends pro possession. So build a lair. Alright. Uh, let's see. How do I... There we go. Right right click uh, closes out of it. So already this seems a lot smoother to me than uh, Dungeons 2 did. Like, Dungeon 2 wasn't bad. It was... I mean, it was pretty good. But it wasn't... It wasn't a very smooth experience. The performance was a little bit clunkier. And the narrator was much more... There wasn't really a whole lot of instruction, which I think ended up being a, ma a massive sticking point for me. Like, as somebody that had never played a... Uh, a Dungeon Keeper style game, it was very hard to get into because I had no idea what I was doing. In this case, though, this actually feels pretty smooth. Pretty good. Let's let them uh, finish destroying this. And build us... Oh, they have to They have to finish putting down the floor tiling. Ah, we have to wait for the renovations to finish before we can put down the, uh, the rest of the house. Makes sense. Well but, done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold by tagging the gleaming tiles. So if I pick... collect and return gold to your dungeon coffers, allowing you to spend it on whatever your dark heart desires. So... Your core can store up to 16,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires the evil in you, Simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pan. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions by filling their bellies with succulent pig flesh. Think we're good there? Is there a way of, like, filling in walls and stuff? Rooms. Vault, slaughter pen, barracks, lair. Cell, rally all minions, worker rally, no? Your dungeon has been breached. Cast rally upon these specters, and your minions will immediately sally forth to wreak 
bloody havoc. Okay. Pretty basic. I don't know what the twos and the threes are. Are those their levels? Build a larger vault, Underlord. Oh, yep. Larger vault, of course. Oh, let's see. Well done. Now finish off the rest of these manifestations with a second rally flag. So more manifest. Oh, I see. Is there is there a hotkey for this? I actually don't know. I would like to know. Yeah. So I assume the twos and the threes are their are their character levels. We could be wrong. Is there? Is, nope. Is it R? Nope. Your R is cell. made short work of those specters. But see how they still circle the flag. You can dismiss rally flags by slapping them with a right click. This should allow your minions to return to their jobs and tend their needs in a timely fashion. You can cast Recall upon a minion to immediately return them to your dungeon. Though if they are attacked as it channels, then the spell will fizzle into nothing. All right, are we good? Feel like we're good. What can we do? Recall. Which seems useless, seeing as we don't have anybody that needs recalling. Oh, I see. We've got this random gnarling that's just off in the middle of. How do you You're even? On a roll, oh. Underlord. And I've been waiting far too long to begin my war for the Overworld. Let us enter the realm of Kairos and continue your retraining against a more fitting enemy. I see. He was put there specifically so I, I would have to teleport well him back. Done, Underlord. I see it all coming back quite quickly. I expected nothing less. But there's much still to learn. Why don't we work in a bit of murder while we're at it? It's time for you to enter the realm of Kairos. So, yeah, this is a very Dungeons 2. Honestly, it's pretty much one for one Dungeons 2. Just... The difference is that it has a much better tutorial experience, performance is a hell of a lot better, and the narrator is verbose, but isn't constantly butting into, you know, commentary time. You know, he only butts in when it's time to talk, which I actually really appreciate from a Let's Play perspective, because it means I can actually talk about it. And this does mean I Now's should probably... the time for a bigger challenge. Before you lies an Imperial Keep, guarded by a certain Lord Rusimov. He had a bit of an accident that melted most of his face, but he's no less vigilant a soldier. He's been sent to guard an object that could threaten our campaign. Get in there, and burn the rest of him, Underlord! Uh, I should go back and finish Dungeons 2 at some point. I think they've patched it so it actually works. He punctured the veil of this world through a schism, a point of weakness in the bonds between realms. Unfortunately for us, the Empire has crafted defenses to keep us from the heart of their kingdom. These inhibitors prevent Underlords from trespass. But whether it's bone or stone, it can be broken. I suspect that this Empire force has yet to taste true battle. But before you go engaging them, you'll need to muster up some minions. Unfortunately for me, your time in the ether has left you a weak husk of your former self. In order to reacquire your powers, you will need to access the veins of evil. Open them now, and use a sin to unlock the archive. Ah, uh, see, so build three by three archives to invite art, uh, cultists into the dungeon. Okay, so while we're at it, let's uh let's expand a little bit. We've got We got some room. Let's do some stuff. Might as well prep for vaults and several other, you know, three by three rooms. I hate it when they're offset like this though. Ah, oh, it messes with my my uh feng shui. I guess I could not bust through that one. Not do that. Bust through there. There we go. Feng shui reachieved. Yeah, I, I hate the gold being in the uh in the walls, too. It messes with my mind. Okay, so let's do room stab. I like how this expands. Let's see, slaughter pen vault. No, what? Where's archive? It's units tab. Recall. 
Maybe I have to attract, start attracting first. So do not see three by, oh, here we go. Oh, this is like research. So we can do archive or barracks, we've already got. Archive unlocked. This room will allow your minions to research additional sins, which can be spent to recover your lost powers. Build one now to begin researching additional sins. You need a larger vault. I like it how he, there's no like cooldown between you need a larger vault and research this. A cultist has entered your dungeon. <laughs> a cultist has found its way into your dungeon. Attracted by the magical tomes within your archive. These minions will spend most of their time researching sins for you. Though they are weak combatants, they have the power to curse your foes, making them weak to your other minions' blows. Perception Shrine Clay. A hungry minion can always find work elsewhere. Build a slaughter pen before your minions starve. I need room for a slaughter pen. All right, uh, they, they can figure it out. Let's see, let's build in here. Slaughter pen. That should be fast enough. Probably should have done that instead of building the vaults. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Where are the rest? Where are the rest of the minions? Have they all left? There we go. We've got two of these guys. They're all they're all busy. I don't know where the rest of them and what they're doing. Oh, they're making the vault look really nice. They decorate the walls. I like that. Okay. Well, let's let's build that slaughter pen. Let's make sure people are. Oh, right. Of course, it doesn't work when you don't have, uh... When you don't have the floors covered. That's funny. That you actually have to wait for them to, to finish, like, putting tiles down on the floor. To be able to, you know, build the structure that you're looking for. Your cultists have worked hard to earn a new sin. Use it within the veins of evil to unlock the tavern. Tavern unlocked! This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ales. After eating a meal within its hearthed halls, their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. Build one now, and remember that the tavern is unique and must be built at least three by five in order to be effective. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got this tile here, so let's do... This should work. It's kind of awkwardly off of the cultist chamber, but you know what? Who cares? Yeah, so I didn't realize this at first, but your uh, your idle workers will actually slowly decorate the uh, decorate the walls of every chamber that they're attached to. I actually really like that. I think that is a that is a nice feature. I don't know. It's a, it's a neat neat thing. I don't remember that. I think that just either instantly happened or something something else. Ooh, what's this thing over here? Perception Shrine. Grants vision over a large area. Ah, that's why we can see into the into the other dungeon. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's uh let's get that tavern down. Can't do that yet. They need to they need to finish dealing with the floors. I like how there's still the like a couple of these guys that are just running in here. Oh, I see. They're they're doing whatever. I was going to say, a couple of these guys still just detailing the walls for largely no reason, but why not, right? Almost done, You'll and... You'll still need a slaughter pen in order to keep your tavern stocked. But in a pinch, you can always drop some alternative meat into the grinder. <laughs> Rooms will only attract a certain number of minions before becoming full. In order to attract more, you will need to expand them. So I can pick up pigs. Oh, they're kind of adorable. It's Let's almost hope your vault is brimming, Underlord. It is payday. Nothing in this life is free, Underlord. And you'll regularly need to pay your minions for their hard work. Be sure to keep an eye on your reserves. But if you've not enough gold for their wages, they'll be swift to find gainful employment elsewhere. Fortunately, your minions will return some of their earnings by buying meals within your own tavern. 
What a delicious arrangement. Are all of these locked currently? Well, prophecy temporarily remove fog of war in an area. Unlocked. All right, so that gives me that gives me an ability. Let's uh, let's prophecy some areas. Let's see what we got. I've got a lot of mana too. I assume I get more over time. Yep, it looks like it charges up very slowly. Scouts, go find what the hell's making all that racket. Rally your minions to defeat these scouts once they breach your dungeon. Okay. Let's keep Sarusim off in the dark a little while longer. You uh, should try using the lightning and heal spells to assist your minions in combat. I probably want to build a barracks as well. I've only got cultists. Oh boy. They are not dying as fast as I want them to. There they go. Okay, we get mana very slowly in this game, unfortunately. Okay. So yeah, we want to build a barracks because otherwise we don't have any melee units. And that seems kind of like a crucial bit. We've got a fair amount of money, though, and worst comes to worst, I can just mine out this entire area, and who cares? Oh wow, mana actually comes back really fast. I did not realize that. Alright. So it just... depletes... well, it doesn't, it doesn't come back quickly. It looks like it's all just kind of nothing over here. What's up over this direction? Nothing? Okay. What about this? Oh, we've got, I think we've got like you've some kind of... Discovered an artifact. We've got some kind of this secret... This is no game, Underlord. Rally your minions to defend your dungeon core. The health of minions is represented by petals surrounding their unit oh, crap. shield. Once no petals remain, a creature will fall unconscious and soon die, unless returned to its lair to recover. Underlord, your dungeon core is being attacked. They should be back by now. Ugh. Bar the doors. We wait for reinforcements. Look how easily your minions cut down these sappers. If I didn't know better, I'd say the Empire is woefully unprepared. Once minions are rested, you can leave them to their work or force them to train by dropping them in a barracks. Okay, there we go. Still would like to know how to get my hands on... Still would like to know how to get my hands on, uh, like, just wall segments. Like, just, just to fill in areas that I've cleared out in favor of, like, mining gold. Like this one here. Message will find feng shui. I mean, look at all this gold that I'm going to have to mine up. I'd like to be able to at least close it off so it's like I've kind of formed a room. That man is doing something. Oh, can I not? Can I not zappy zap her? Guess not. All right. Here's the question, how many how many monsters do we have? We've got three Gnarlings, four Cultists. Okay, cool. I don't know if we're ever, like, how to specifically get more, if they just keep showing up to a certain cap, or what? If you don't what? want to do something, you could at least vocalize it, Underlord. Oh, he's, oh, interesting. Okay. So what am I... What exactly do you want me to do? Is it pick up a cultist? Oh, and drop him onto the training dummy. Okay. Good to know. So he'll train too. You need okay. a larger vault. I do? Really? Okay, fine. Let's just vault up some more over here. And we can probably start attacking the uh the whomevers. Did we did we get this over here yet? We didn't. Because I really want to be able to get in here. Cleared it out, right? Yeah, okay. He's gonna do that. And they've sealed up the doors. The doors are not closed. What? Alright. Well. I forced the cultists to train in the barracks. One of your creatures was originally concepted, but later cut from the game. <laughs> Artifact unlocked indie. Maybe? 
Can I, like, drop him directly on this? Oh, I can only drop him within given sight. Oh, and I can probably only lightning things. Okay, I've totally forced a cultist to train on the on the in the barracks. All right, let's just force them all. That's enough training for now. When you're ready, rally your minions to the inhibitor and defeat Sarusimov. Oh, that that explosion effect was the the banner going down. You know what? I'm going to rally them in here. Okay, and you can only have one rally barrier at the time. But I figure let's let's have Can I not drop? I can't drop him there. Okay. Let's rally them all. Let's see, oh, we've got a sapper with. Interesting. Doesn't seem particularly necessary, but still. Okay, so what is this guy doing? He's just dancing. Weird. Okay, well, we've got plenty of money, and we've probably got plenty of spells. I'm going to switch over to this one for the... Wait, what's this? Artifact staff. The enemy have breached the damn walls. Steal yourselves, lads. Research the effects of this artifact within your archive. Oh. Okay. So, I should probably kill these guys, and then I'm going to recall back. I want to get that artifact researched before we, uh... I want to get this artifact researched before we... Before we complete the mission. I can only assume that this is important. Okay. It goes fast, though. But I, I assume I have to research it within the mission. Otherwise, I do not get access to it. Which would be a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Let's see. I don't even, I don't even know what we get for doing so. Maybe it's you just... Identified an artifact of go. What's that do? Oh, generates money for us. Alright. Well, that's cool. Kind of meaningless. Let's go back to charging. Let's see. And is this guy... That guy is off of that. Cool. And I assume there's nothing left for me to research. Yeah, because it's currently not unlocked. I'm looking forward to clearing the campaign mode so I can actually start doing the... Um, so I can actually start doing the... The actual gameplay, I guess? You know, kind of the, the free play campaign mode. Oh, in retrospect, he might be in a spot of bother. Because the rest of everybody... Yeah, I didn't have them rally up. Your creatures are in combat. Alright. You know what? Let's uh, switch to spells tab. Let's do some healing. These guys... Oh, these guys are stuck on the outside. Alright, so I'm just going to keep healing this guy as he gets injured. They'll come. Just keep healing him. He'll live. He'll live through it. I think now he's running away. I don't know why these guys keep having, like, weird pig icons above them, but whatever. Should also look into possessing a guy for one of these. Maybe, maybe later when I'm feeling a little bit more confident with myself. Let's see. He's got a... Oh, there's the general. Okay. Oh, let's take that off. Let's let our mana come back for a second. Actually, let's heal this guy to full. What are they even attacking? Oh, they're going for the door. They're going for all of the doors, actually. Alright. That's fine. Wow, there's a lot of stats, too. Like, you can see their wages, you can see their sleep, you can see their mood. This game is, um, very detailed. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, what's this? Just, they're fighting? Your minions are fighting an enemy. Okay. Yeah, because I, I like the little event bar on the side telling me what's going on. Letting me know what's going on. That That's a good feeling. Well, time to go fight a dude. Day has come again. I've got everybody together. This should be easy enough. I like it how I've, uh... As, as I clear this part of the dungeon, my minions actually claim it for their own. That's an interesting system. Yeah, I love the HP bars for everything. It's a nice detail. Seeing, you know, just how... How much HP things have left. You know, you don't have to worry about anything. Oh, does he have, like, armor and stuff? Well, he does have armor, but... 
there's no like separate armor bar. The light is gone. Cheer up. I am extinguished. Oh, that's the general Seems talking. Almost charitable to put him out of his misery. I was like, I don't think I lost any minions there. Honestly, well my done, minions. Underlord. You're learning much faster this time. Oops. We've barely even started. And you already have a notch on your belt. Well done, Underlord. I like There's this no guy. Rest for the wicked. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusimov, I doubt they'll be as weakly defended. I like this guy. He's way more positive than the uh, narrator from Dungeons 2. Like, whoop. Way more positive. Which I really enjoy. Okay, so let's see. Um, you know what? That's actually really good. Yeah, one of my videos popped up on my phone. I should probably just turn that off or something like that when I'm recording. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, he's much more positive. This game, honestly, this game just feels like a, a nicer, tighter version of Dungeons 2. Now that they've patched it, brought everything up. I'm not sure how deep it's going to be. I'm not sure whatever. I think I like the visual style of Dungeons 2 a little bit better. But ultimately, whatever. I'm probably going to end up going back to that one after this. Uh, but for now... Actually, drop frames. Well, nobody's watching anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, for now, I will see you guys on the next episode of War for the Overworld. And, as always, thanks for watching. I wonder how long the campaign is. I have no idea. Well.